Hey guys, I'm Phil. I'm Phil Craft's new mobility instructor. This is my personal rig. It's a 2018 Tundra. I built it out with everything from long travel suspension, a medical suite inside, communications and recovery. I'm gonna break this down for you and go through everything that I carry in this truck for all of my trips to stay safe. Hey guys, so coming inside, uh, going on the driver's side to start, um, we're gonna go over just the kind of things that I have in here. One of the first things that I installed was a scan gauge. Um, it enables me to track everything on the vehicle, make sure it's not getting too hot. And if an error code comes up on the trail, I can go in there and see what it is and look it up to figure out what's going on with the truck. And also clear those things out uh, if need be. Um, comes into my communication system. So I have a GMRS radio, which is on a magnet, which I can access from the driver's seat. We also have two walkie-talkies for the dirt bikes or other activities, hiking, that kind of thing. So you can always talk back to the truck as home base. Um, also, all my light controls for all the lighting on the truck are up here and accessible. Uh, goes into dust lighting so I can flash on the back so I don't get rear-ended on dusty trails. Um, all the light bars up front. And this is all a Bluetooth system too. So to make myself a harder target when we're camping, I can turn on the lights from the truck even if I'm inside the tent uh, to give myself situational awareness in the middle of the night. If I got a whole mounting suite, I usually put a GPS up here, a handheld, so I can just take it out of the truck and go, go foot. And then this would be my fridge freezer remote. It's a nice to have, not a need to have, but um, good to keep cool drinks and everything else to, to live out of here. Um, in the hotter months in the summer. Inside here, I got a safe for all the valuables whenever I leave the vehicle. And underneath here, I have a switch for the Wii Boost, which is a system which will amplify cell phone reception. So in remote areas, I can still get back a bar, bar and a half to be able to make communication out if I need to. Hey guys, so coming into the rear vehicle now, this is my medical suite. So I have a standalone IFAC. So everything in my grab and go IFAC, this is gonna be everything from Little boo-boos, allergies. Um, I got a suture kit in here. Things for guys that are going into cardiac arrest. All these kinds of things I've learned from my EMT training and then special operations training in the military that I know how to use. And then this is a more built out seat back panel for the March algorithm. So massive bleeding, airway, respiration, circulation, hypothermia, head trauma. So I have everything to treat through here. And then I even have a neck brace because most mobility or rollover things you want to stabilize that. Behind this seat, you can't see it right now because it's bolted back down, I have a dual battery. So my secondary battery is located under the seat with an entire electrical suite on this back portion of the cab uh, mounted on a aftermarket panel. So all the electricals run through the vehicle to this secondary system uh, so we don't drain the main battery and then lose functionality of the vehicle. The secondary battery will power all the auxiliary stuff on the truck, and then the main battery only powers the winch when it's running, and then it gives you startup for the vehicle. So I don't ever have to worry about the vehicle breaking down with all these additional things running. So this is the rear of the vehicle. This is where most of the loadout comes, and this is gonna change over the next six months as we're transitioning to a camper for the back. So we'll document all that too and explain to you why we chose to go that route. Just a quick rundown, this is a rig supply rear tire carrier for the Tundra. So to support this 37 inch tire and I can also carry a dirt bike with this. Okay, now. So I came in the back of the vehicle my trash -a -roo, so I carry firewood and whatnot on the spare tire. And then I have a fridge freezer system on a slide out. This is my Crew Eagle Jack because this vehicle is on 37s and also has long travel suspension. I wanted something bigger and beefier to be able to lift that weight on any trail system, not just flat surface. And then additionally, to get the clearance for the long travel suspension to be able to change the tire. I've got onboard air with this power tank. So I can air up and air down my tires to the appropriate um, pressure to save the suspension and make it a smoother ride. Also to create surface area on those tires so I get better grip for uh, off-road terrain. Also have another S-Pro system back here with more lights for the cargo area for nighttime. This is my CB radio antenna. And then 
the through to bed shocks is a nice to have, but it means I can go 70 miles an hour through desert terrain. Uh, and the truck remains relatively unaffected. Uh, the rear of the vehicle stored back there, which we will go through another time. I have a dead man anchor, so if I'm on my if I'm on my own, I don't have another vehicle or a tree or something to recover from with the winch. I can bury that, and that becomes my anchor that I can self-recover. I also have additional fuel and max tracks traction boards. In the box back here, which I mounted, I have all the tools I need to continue operating the truck, spare fuses, all the way to um, extra fluids. Um, and then on the other side of it, I have my kitchen suite with pans and all that stuff so I can live out of the vehicle. Additionally, when this is full go, uh, we'll have everything loaded down. So this would be a onboard water system for showering or just carrying extra water. And then typically we have a tent, sleeping bags, and a go bag back here with more stuff if we're gonna go foot mobile. So that'll be in the next segment for this video series. Okay guys, so that completes today, going over the overview of my vehicle. There's going to be a lot more in this series, going into detail of everything that I carry daily and on trips. Look forward to all your questions. Uh, let us know what you think and what you carry. I'm just as excited to learn from you all as I am to share my experiences. Thanks and I'll see you again soon.